Hello everyone and welcome to X-Plane 11 where I'm at Dubai International Airport with the Kolimata F-A-18F and this is the first payware plane I decided to get for X-Plane 11 having flown the F-A-18 a lot in Microsoft Flight Simulator and not really finding a good freeware version of it I decided that this would be a good way to go especially since I like flying really fast between places and sightseeing it can you know reduce its speed decently as opposed to the SR-71, which I previously tried to fly around the world in. That doesn't do such a good job at lower velocities, though this is still pretty fast, of course, it's no Cessna. Um, but it can also cover a reasonable distance, and it can, in particular, uh, cover the distances required to go around the world. And so, I have actually I actually started out in Edwards Air Force Base and went westward, trying to beat out the sun. And originally, this video was going to be a flight between uh, Dubai and Tel Aviv, but uh, OBS crashed in the middle of that and I lost a video right when I was coming in to land at Tel Aviv so I'm not going to do that again I'll pick up that flight. I had been doing the flight on Twitch I'll talk more about the flight later but let's get this thing started so into the cockpit and uh, so battery on and make sure bleed air is alright and then the APU on wait for it to get ready We do have external tanks, they work nominally, except for the jettison's a little bit wonky. Okay, right engine crank. But we have to actually have to hold it until it gets to a 20% RPM, there we go. Right generator. And then it does that. I've turned down Betty, you, actually, you can actually adjust the volume of Betty using this aux volume. And left engine crank. Hold it. There we go. And left gen. And then it's all set. Let's spool up, of course. Alright, let's get uh, ground vehicle. So, brakes off. And let's get push back to the left. Okay, the push cart has arrived. And it does clip into the nose a bit, but let's ignore that. Let's take it from inside here. I think maybe I can turn the engine noise down. Well, let's leave it be for now. It's quiet enough in here. Interesting parking in airport parking spaces as a fighter, of course. Uh, supposedly there's a way to land this on carriers. And also to do aerial refueling, which is interesting, but I haven't tried those out yet. At some point, I'll have to do a video where I make horrible attempts to land on a carrier. Yeah, that's going to be painful to watch. Ooh, another cart that's trying to interfere with us. So, our main goal here is to do a bit of sightseeing at Dubai because I've got the Dubai VFR scenery that's available on the, on the forums. So, you will be able to get the same scenery. And I hope this cart will get out of my way now. I think I'll go on this taxiway over here. One quirk about this, and I don't know what to think about, is the texture here in certain light. Is that the way it's supposed to be? Is that the game? Do I have to de-ice the thing? Not entirely sure. All right. I will like to uh, take the takeoff from outside. Let's see. That's a good view. That's a good view. So, I don't know about the afterburner effects. I think those are just how afterburners are in x 11, I'm not sure. 
anyway, uh, the city center of Dubai is over there. So let's turn. In addition to Dubai VFR, I also have ortho photos for the scenery. Okay, she's being annoying. She's being annoying. Okay. Alright, we're trying to sightsee. We have to go slow. Now, interestingly, in this scenery, there's an Ikea over here. Let me see if I can spot it. Uh, yeah, there, Ikea. I don't know if... it might be a little bit blurry for you. But I don't know if there's really an Ikea there in Dubai. I wouldn't be surprised, of course. Let's take it from the outside view. Well, let's pass through the main strip in Dubai. I guess that's this road here. Bridge Dubai is tall. Uh, the creator of the scenery is aware of that little gap there, so that's a known issue. But yeah, uh, Dubai. Oh, where, where, there it is. One of many different cities that I will try to visit for your entertainment. So it is pretty good scenery. I like it. It's certainly better than it is without the Burj Dubai there. That would be quite unacceptable. No good visiting Dubai without the big tall building there. The external tank jettison is simply pushing this button. And I guess we should be nice and be over water to double check that out. Don't want to give any semblance of uh, hostilities here. So I flew from Edwards to Seattle, to Anchorage, to Kamchatka, and then to Sapporo, Osaka, Hong Kong, and then there was a brief stop in uh, Rangoon, then Calcutta, New Delhi, and now uh, Dubai. And from here on I'll be heading to the cities of Europe. Uh, from Tel Aviv, I should say, I'll be heading to the series, cities of Europe. And uh, possibly a stop at Istanbul, we'll see. So, looking forward to doing that, and I'll have some videos on the scenery at those locations. Hopefully I can get a video on the full flights, but that depends on whether OBS is going to cooperate. Anyway, uh, so let's try and jettison the external tanks. Taking an external view, you can see there they are. And yes, it is possible to fire the weapons, but you actually have to have a target. Uh, you would have to uh, go to weapon and radar and find a target to aim the weapon at. So let's not do that. That's not very civil of us. Okay, but we can jettison the external tanks. You can see there's fuel indicated here. And then when we jettison, we hold that. And it says they're gone. They made a sound. And they are gone. Sometimes, weirdly, they come back, but then you just have to push the button again. My typical cruising velocity and altitude with this has been Mach 1.7 and uh, 56,000 feet. And it holds that very nicely by setting the autopilot to 4 degree pitch and obviously zero roll. I don't use a heading hold. And then of course a full afterburner on that because I'm impatient. There are actually two of these palm tree island structures. This one here and then the smaller one over there. 
good time to test the speed brakes. Okay, cruising right along. Nice traffic below. Some good detail in these parts with the yachts and all. We could see some uh, signs on the highway, and I wonder how accurate they are, actually. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to try and take a closer look. Let's pull up here. Oh, that truck just vanished. Let's hide the transparent textures. There we go. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be too safe to fly the SR-71 like this, so I'm glad I got this. I think it was a good choice. Okay, well, the least I could do is land back at the airport, right? We're already going low and slow, so it's not going to be that big a deal. Though Betty might disagree. I wonder if I can land in the external view. I don't think that's safe just yet. No heck, let's see. Okay, well... Could be worse. Uh, okay. Need to practice that if I want to do the external views and everything. All the fancy stuff. Anyway, so that's a little flight around Dubai in my little FA-18, which I, I've been proud of. I wish I could have done a proper flight to Tel Aviv as I had planned, but no such luck. But I'll try and record the flight out of Tel Aviv and on to uh, probably Istanbul and Athens and so forth. Venice and uh, lots of scenery in Germany. Got some Paris VFR stuff too. So we should be good on all that stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.